Now in this lesson we're going we're asked which of the following are multiples of 9. Now this is another exam question, GSAT exam question or K12. Now I if you're not sure what multiples are, I would advise that you review our playlist on math basics where we looked at the difference between factors and multiples so you can get a better idea of the concept when we speak about multiples, yeah? Now, let's look at this question quickly. Now, I, a multiple, we have learned that a multiple, a number rather, is a multiple of itself and also a factor of itself. And multiples, when dealing with multiples, we start from the number itself and we increase. So, for example, I would say if I'm looking for multiples of 9, I could say 9 times 1 is equal to 9. I could then say 9 times 2 is as if I'm saying my 9 times table. It would give me 18, 9 times 3 is equal to 27, 9 fours, 9 times 4 is equal to 36, 9 times 5 is equal to 45, 9 times 6 is equal to 54, 9 times 7 is equal to 63, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. But um, when speaking about multiples, we start at the number itself. It's as if you're multiplying the number by 1, and you increase, okay, in that sequence. Now, well, basically, um, you would have gotten the answer based on what we have just did, because when you look at uh, option A, you could say 18. When you look here, you'll see an 18 there. Now we're checking if we find a 24 in this list. When we check, there is no 24. So obviously, option A would be out of it. Okay. Now, option B, let's check option B. When we check option B in our list, and these are the numbers that we are considering, these numbers out here, these are the multiples of 9 going up in this sequence. Okay, so when I check option B, and let's check if we see a 9 there, there is a 9 there. Let's check if we see a 27, yes, there, there is a 9 here, there is a 27 there. And let's check if we see a 63, yes, there is a 63 there. So obviously, we have gotten our answer, our answer would be B. Okay, now when you look, 50 is not a factor. 50 is not a multiple, 50 is not there, so we would have to eliminate these, and we would have to eliminate D, C, and D. Now, um, as it relates to 9, and I'm going to show you a quick way you could find factor, find multiples rather of 9. A quick method. Now, bear in mind, this method only works for the number 9, okay? It doesn't work for any other number. And I'll say that again. I'm going to show you a quick method how to find multiples of 9. However, this method only works for the number 9. So, for me, um, I could find it very quickly because um, what I do, if you want to know if a number is a multiple of 9. You take the digits and you add them and whenever you add the digits you must get 9 for your answer. Hence that number would be a multiple of 9 or 9 can be considered a factor of that, num of that number. Okay for example here we had 9 so 9 is just 9. 9 plus 0 is 9 so 9 can go into 9. Let me change that color quickly 9 can go into 9. So the first digit that we have here is 9. Okay? The second digit that we have is 27. So when I take the 2 in 27 and I add it to the 7, I will get a 9 again. Okay? So 2 plus, nine, two plus 7 is equal to 9. So when I take the 2 digits in 27 and I add them, I get 9. So that tells me that 27 is also a multiple of 9. And, and when I take 63, I can take 63 and I can say 6 plus the 3, and that again is equal to 9. So I, there, because when I add the two digits, I get a 9, I can say 63 is also a multiple of 9. So that's a quick way of finding out how, if 9 rather is if numbers are multiples of 9, when you add the digits, when you add all of the digits, you must get 9 
All right. Bye bye. <laughs>